Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the best apps and websites for college students, in my opinion. I've been using some of these apps and websites for years and years and years, and some of them I've discovered more recently, but all of them are really awesome and helpful, so I'm really excited to talk about them all in this video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. My number one favorite website for college that I've actually been using since before I started college is Quizlet.com. It's basically a website that helps you study for tests and exams. You can do flashcards, you can do practice tests, you can do games. They have so many awesome features that help you learn everything that you need for your tests and exams. My favorite thing on Quizlet is the matching game. For some reason, it just really helps me remember all the terms. And now they even have a Quizlet app so I can study on the light rail or the bus or when my computer runs out of battery. So definitely check out Quizlet. I'll link it and all the other apps and websites mentioned in the description below. Second website is something that I've been using for a few years now and that's Grammarly. It's a website and extension for Google Chrome that helps you check the grammar of anything that you're writing. It works with Gmail, Twitter, and other social media sites or you can upload or copy and paste any document onto the website. And I really love it because it just helps me to really quickly check the grammar of things that I'm writing. So definitely check out Grammarly. The extension is completely free and it's honestly saved me so much time over the last few years. Third website is something that I used early on in my college career when I was still doing math and that is Wolfram Alpha. They also have an app now too which is pretty cool but Wolfram Alpha is basically a search engine for math or anything else. You can put in any math problem and not only will it show you the solution but it will also show you how to get to that solution. So it's a really good way to check your work and see what you're doing wrong which for me was a lot of things because math and I have never really been friends so definitely check out Wolfram Alpha if you're taking math classes. It's such a lifesaver for people like me that struggle with math. The fourth website that I would highly recommend is RefWorks and RefWorks is just a really awesome website that helps you cite sources for essays in a bunch of different styles like APA, Chicago, and MLA. It makes it so much easier to make bibliographies and works cited pages and to organize all of your different sources. I'm pretty sure that you usually have to pay for it but I get it for free through my university. So definitely see if your university has a subscription to RefWorks. It automatically alphabetizes everything and you can create bibliographies in a bunch of different formats and download them to Word. So if you're still citing everything manually and it's taking way too long, definitely check out RefWorks. The fifth website that I would recommend is to use whatever resources your university library has available to you. My university library has so many amazing databases that can help you find sources for papers and peer-reviewed journal articles and news articles and so many other helpful sources. I didn't find out about the library resources until my second semester of college, but now I use them for all of my papers and they're so helpful. So definitely look into that. I'm sure that your university probably has at least some databases. The sixth website is something that most college students probably already know about, but that's RateMyProfessor.com. As you can probably tell just from the name of it, it's a website where people rate their professors. I've had some pretty mixed experiences with this website. I've had good experiences with professors that people wrote bad reviews on, but I still think that it's a good idea to look up professors on that website before you sign up for their classes, just so that you can know what you're getting yourself into. The seventh website is a website that I just discovered a few weeks ago, and that is the website ScholarMe. It's an amazing website that lets you apply to a bunch of college scholarships really easily and really quickly. It lets you apply to hundreds of college scholarships with just a few essays. You can even reuse some of your college essays from the Common App, so definitely check out ScholarMe if you haven't already. I just started using it a few weeks ago, but I'm already obsessed with it and I've applied to so many college scholarships. The eighth and final website that I want to mention in this video is actually YouTube. This website that you're watching this on has probably helped me more than any other website out there. There's so many amazing creators on YouTube that can explain pretty much anything that you're struggling with in school in a really simple and easy to understand way. So if you want to learn more about history, solve a math problem, or figure out how to do something on Photoshop for one of your classes, just search for it on YouTube and you'll probably find a video that can help you out. So those are all the websites and apps that I want to mention in this video. If you think that I left anything out, feel free to comment it down below. I love you all so much. Stay awesome, register to vote, and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.